For Prima Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with Xylem Water Solutions Treatment Project Manager, Brendan van Wijk, regarding the use of ozone and UV in the cleaning processes in breweries and wineries. Brendan, how or why are these products or processes better than older, more dated sterilization processes? Okay, so normally the, the, the um, go-to for sterilization is normally chlorine or chlorine dioxide. Um, that's kind of the standard. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy. The problem is it's pretty nasty. Uh, chlorine leaves a residue. Um, it reacts with any of the organics that are present to form uh, AOX or halogenated organics, which are carcinogenic. Uh, it stays around in the environment. It doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't leave, which is its benefit, uh, is that it's long-term disinfection. Ozone and UV uh, do not leave traces in the water that they are treating. Uh, they do not leave chemical traces. Um, ozone just um, reverts back to oxygen um, and UV has no chemical component whatsoever. Can you explain to the layperson the process involved in ozonating water and how it works to eliminate contaminants? So ozone is, a, is the strongest basically uh, oxidant or chemical available um, for commercial use. Um, and it's one of the safest in terms of handling and dealing with um, because it's a gas, um, it's easily contained and easily produced. Um, all you're doing is introducing that oxidant into the water through uh, either like a venturi, as I said, or, a, or bubbling it into the water. The ozone chemistry is so fast that as it comes into contact with whatever it's going to oxidize, the, um, the reaction time is only that of finding whatever it can uh, oxidize. But now in terms of disinfection, what ozone does is attacks the cell walls, so the membrane around the cell. So ozone will attack everything from algae, cysts, squir, uh, viruses, um, uh, or any of those um, bacteria. Um, it attacks them all by ru rupturing the cell membrane, so actually tearing the cell apart, so the cell then ruptures. Um, so there's no possibility of the bacteria or viruses, microbes, building up an immunity. 